in this video I'm going to be going over a little bit of a different topic with you guys it's going to be a little bit of a different video today and this is because I got a message from a young man the other day and I'm not going to disclose his name but he was talking to me about I'll pop the uh, I'll pop the little messages on the screen so he initially replied to one of my instagram stories because i said that i've been working on something all summer and that i'm going to be announcing it very soon and that i'm going to be it's going to be a tool and it's going to be a space to help skinny young men change their lives and if you're a skinny young man watching this which i assume you are then drop a little sub and stay tuned for that because i'm I've, i want to change as many skinny men as as, as many skinny uh, people's lives as possible and I just want to prove to you guys that I sort of know my stuff before I get into this video so my name is Ryan and I'm a 19 year old from the UK and I have physically and mentally transformed myself over the past three years taking myself from 51 kg in 2021 to now in 2024 looking like this and I want to help and inspire skinny young men who have previously struggled with this stuff to sculpt their physiques anyway back to the messages so this guy replied to my story saying like he was like you know he was happy that i was trying to that i'm announcing something soon that it's going to help him build his physique right and then a little bit later into the conversation he was talking about how he's very skinny and he really wants to change his physique like i have right because i've gone from skinny to whatever i have done now and he was saying how he really admires how i've done that and how he wants to do the same thing right and i'm obviously trying to encourage him and trying to just open his perspective and open his um open his um open his mind towards actually taking action and not thinking about it and doing it right and then a little bit later into the conversation he was saying he was saying this i'll put it on the screen right now and he was saying about how he's really self-conscious at the gym because there's so many road men in his area that are judging him and this genuinely makes me so so upset right this actually makes me so so sad and uh, by the way i'm not go i usually have a plan for my videos right i'm just going off the top of my dome so if i end up going to a crazy place with my words then just know that right but yeah this is so 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 just extremely sad because people need to realize that in the long term okay so i i said to this guy right and i want to ask you this as well if you if you're conscious of people that you know or road men judging you in your local area for going to the gym i want to ask you this question okay in 10 years time will you look back at your days now and regret not going to the gym because you because some road men were judging you some stupid little road men were judging you for trying to better your life or or you look back in 10 years time with your dream physique and be so 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 happy that you started and you didn't give a flying fuck about them stupid little roadmen trying to you know shoot little roadmen trying to judge you right what would you rather do think of yourself and not the other people okay i find it so so sad when people want to when people stop themselves and hold themselves back from doing something because of others and their actions towards them i genuinely think it's so so sad because Obviously, it's a little bit different because, you know, it may be really mentally affecting you and you literally feel like you can't do it. But from someone that has sort of that from someone that has started their gym journey and had people judge them. Right. Obviously, I'll be I'll be honest with you. I didn't have too many people judging me because obviously for the first year and a half, no one really knew I went to the gym apart from the people closest to me. Um, and then, you know. Obviously, I've had some people judging and taking a piss out of my gym journey and my content and social media and all that stuff. But do I give a flying fuck? No, I've got, I've, I've had to, I've had to obviously learn to because oh, I can relate to you guys, all right? I can relate. And when I started posting on social media and when I was talking about the gym and when people were taking a piss, I was pretty self-conscious, okay? But I've just got to, I've just learned to not give a fuck because it is not going to affect you in the long term. You've got to think of a long of the long term because you've got to think the gym is the delayed gratification game of all delayed gratification games. It is the long term game of all the long term games. You don't get your dream physique straight away. It takes years and years to get your dream physique. And if you're holding back and if you're procrastinating because of some stupid silly roadmen that are you know trying to that are, you know that they're judging you, I'd imagine they're not judging you. Then you're you're not going to achieve that and you're not going to. Um, you, you're not going to achieve what you want and potentially not achieve what you want in life so you need to stop playing about mate and you need to take action and stop giving a fuck and so probably the main thing of this little video that I want to expose is the truth okay and it may be very 
um, difficult for you to admit because of your position and how you take the judgment, right? But it's not judgment at all. They're projecting their insecurities onto you and they are projecting their jealousy onto you. Do you know why that is, mate? Because those road men are going nowhere in life and you're trying to better your life. Therefore, they want to hold you back so they don't feel as guilty for not going anywhere with their lives, okay? I know, oh well, okay, I don't know, but I know of, right, road men that, you know, they're, they're, they're in prison, right? They're in fucking prison, okay? So why would you give a shit about them judging you when they're more likely to be going nowhere on a construction site and in prison by the time they're 19, okay? If you're a road man watching this and you want to change your life, mate, be my guest, all right? I'm with you. But for the roadmen that are projecting their insecurities and trying to hold people back for better in their lives, they can fuck off, mate, okay? They're going nowhere and they're just trying to project their insecurity onto you and they're literally projecting their jealousy onto you and they wish they could be you. Trust me, they wish they could be you. They wish they could be in your situation where you're bettering your life and you're improving yourself because they're not, right? They're so stupid and they're so numb in the head that they're going nowhere with their lives and they're going to end up in prison or in a minimum wage job for the rest of their lives and they're literally going nowhere. So you just need to understand that they're projecting their insecurities onto you because they don't want you to better themselves because they don't want to feel guilty about other people levelling up in life, okay? So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and you've truly, truly learnt to just not give a fuck and those people that you think are judging you are just projecting their insecurities onto you because they know you're bettering your life and they don't want you to do that because they don't want to feel bad about them not going anywhere, okay? So, if you have uh, enjoyed this video and now you're not going to give a fuck and you're going to improve yourself and you're going to become, become the best version of yourself and in 10 years time you're going to look back at yourself and you're going to be like, oh, I'm so, so, so happy I got past that stupid phase. Even in six months time, okay? Even in six months time, you're going to look back at yourself you know, self-conscious and feeling that you're being judged by roadmen. In six months' time, when you start the gym, six months into your gym journey, you're going to look back and think, what a fucking idiot, okay? You've just got to focus on, you, you know, you yourself, okay? Your, your being, right? Not others, not other people judging you. You've got to block out all the noise and just get on with it, okay? So, if you guys have enjoyed this video and truly learned something about not giving a fuck and why... You know, thinking about other people in your area judging you for bettering yourself is stupid and you're going to take action and you're going to become the best versions of yourself, then I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like, a comment and a subscription down below because it helps you reach skinny, because it will help me reach more skinny young men like you to take action and I genuinely want to change lives. And as I said at the start of the video, I'm working on something huge right now. I've been working on it throughout the whole summer, educating myself and working on it. And I'm going to be releasing it very soon and you're going to see an announcement video in the next few weeks. So if you want to see that, then stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. Wapa!